Okay, today I'm going to talk about the Japanese animation and Japanese animes. It's very much deeply relating to the serious issue of the sustainability. Talking about the Japanese animation, but not these superstars. Here are some unknown silent characters. Those guys are living in an ordinary life. If you visit Japan, you see on the street. Check out the construction site. Here is a signboard. That's our famous Uncle Bao. <laughs> He's apologizing to the neighborhood because of the fume and the noises, right? He's apologizing everywhere. <laughs> Ever since he was born, more than half a century, he has been apologizing. <laughs> And look at that, it's evolution. You know, since, since uh, 1950, it's a, but this variation, it's a fertile family, right? And you can meet a lot of descendants of this, this uh, <laughs> Uncle Bao. His brother also works at a robot construction site. His name is Anzen Taro. <laughs> it's a safety taro. Safety taro's role is just a waving flag 24-7 just to keep the secured our life. He's probably the first generation of the humanoid, Japanese humanoid robot. Look at this diversity. If you check carefully, <laughs> it's, they're all different. Some are handsome, and some are really tough-looking guy. They're customized. His sister works at the bank ADM. Not, not this chick. Check it out. Here she is. <laughs> right? She smiles, nice smile, and bows, of course, he's Japanese. Each bank has a different girl, so if you want to meet them, you know, just deposit the money in the Japanese banks, please. <laughs> Not only ATM, the, you know, Japan is a kingdom of the vending machine. Five million machines are on business every day. And they talk to you sometimes. You know, this is a famous Dido's talkative vending machine. Covers four languages, 13 dialects. And then 42, 48 types of the dialogue. You know, sometimes it says, hey, it's so hot today, isn't it? It has a thermometer in it, right? It is too hard to eat the Japanese mothers cooking the uh, lunch box. Why? It fills with the anima. It's so cute, and you know, it's a spiritual, right? And the most inorganic substance, periodic table, can be organic in Japan. You know, it's boring periodic table. It's just atom. How can it be so organic? It's a humanized version we have. <laughs> Let's check out some. You know, neon and freon. Neon is a you know, sparkling you know, character of the cheer girl. So the characteristic of the atom is reflected on the personality of the character. Of course, Groline is a sexy nurse, right? <laughs> so everything has an animal. They all are partners. They all are alive. And the Japanese hold the memorial service when they are broken or dead. So let's check a K Kentucky Fried Chicken hold the memorial service for the chicken. Once a year at the shrine, big shot get together. You know, really big shot, Mr. Mr. Right? And then, you know, pray to the God of the chicken, thanks for the sacrifice, right? And then we have the even tombs of the bacteria. Bioscientists gather and pray to the bacteria, God of bacteria, thanks for the sacrifice for the experiment. It's incredible, right? Not only the, the life, even though we have the memorial service, when, the, when it's broken, we bring it to the shrine, and they, say, they suck the, you know, the spirit on the, the stick and burn it, and send it to the heaven. Not only even, even tool, we have the memorial service. This is a famous needle service. So the, the needle is struggling with the hard material, and then finally it's broken. So we just let the needle feel what the softness is before sending it to the god. So we put it on the tofu. You know, we can even sympathize to the stick of the metal. That's amazing, right? So everywhere in the world, we used to respect the, you know, the product as a partner, sole partner. So we, they wear the leather jacket before, but now they are all naked because they are considered as an on-demand function. So the relation is so dry and sad. So look at the girls, Japanese girls, you know, they cherish the mobile phone with this decoration like the dress-up. Or even boys' culture, they decorate it with the animation character. So they cherish the product. So cherish the product as a partner and then take good care of it because that's a friend. So use as, as long as possible. So humanization 
is not just the elemental or the primitive, you know, immature, immature mentality, just another Japanese way of understanding of the sustainability. Thank you.